You ever have to wait in a long line? Yes. Where? The bank, department stores. The bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> the you bathroom. know about that, don't you? Huh? Yeah. You ever see him wait in a line? No. No way, right? No. In, out. You ever notice when you go to the movies, the lines into the women's room are always longer? Yes, I wondered. Uh, Why is that? No female engineers. I think that might be right. How many of you had to wait in a long line at the theater tonight to get into the restroom? <laughs> Would you like to see this problem taken care of in your lifetime? Yeah! We're going to correct it tonight, right here All on right. TV Nation. Let's go. Great. Let me introduce you to the Johns of Justice. Did you, by chance, happen to have one of those really, really big sodas tonight? I drank a uh, $3 juice, and it's all coming out, and I don't have a place to put it. <laughs> it's a problem as old as indoor plumbing. No matter where you go, there are never enough toilets for women. Have you ever noticed a line for the men's room? No, well, that's obvious. The men have almost no line, and they don't, they don't even experience this problem. We have to squat. We can't just pull something out and go in a little urinal. Have you ever noticed a line for the men's room? Oh, no, look, no. Isn't this the men's room here? Women have been standing around so long, maybe we've gotten used to it. But I'd had enough. I wanted to find out why there were long bathroom lines and how we could get rid of them. So I paid a visit to a plumbing engineer. He's the guy that puts the toilets in. Whose fault is it? It's not my fault. The plumbing engineer blamed the architects. The architect isn't responsible for how many bathrooms. The architect is responsible for uh, providing the number that meets the code. So is it the building code official's fault? Uh, it's nobody's fault, really. It's that we're following the, what the code says. While those guys pass the buck, women stand in line. But the way for the bathroom isn't just an inconvenience. Sometimes it can cost you your job. This is the Proline Baseball Cap Company in White Settlement, Texas. In 1992, a government agency, OSHA, told Proline it didn't have enough bathrooms for its women workers. Proline decided it was cheaper to fire the women than build the John. So that's what they did. Twenty-five women lost their jobs. What was the excuse that um, Proline gave you when they, then they let you go? We got a letter saying mm -hmm. we don't want you here anymore. We don't have enough bathrooms for you. I know. Because of OSHA. First thing, it says OSHA is blamed for this whole deal. What did the government want Proline to do? They had the option to either build another one or let us use the one upstairs. Why do you think they wouldn't let you use the upstairs bathroom? Business people upstairs and we do the dirty jobs. So. Did uh, Proline ever build that bathroom for the Never. women workers? Not Never. Oh, I don't think so. No, I don't think The government sued and the fired women eventually got some back pay. But Proline never built another bathroom. Fortunately, we had an idea. The Johns of Justice. Extra toilets for a company that wouldn't build its own. Two former Proline workers, Rosa Ames and Maria Washburn, came with us to Proline. They wanted to see justice done. Excuse me, hi. Are you rushing home to use the bathroom? Please use our Johns of Justice if you like. There were Are the you... women, here were the Johns, and yet no one would use them. Management had some explaining to do. You are, excuse me, does anyone want to talk to us? Miss? I really have to use the bathroom. Proline wouldn't talk, but some of their friends dropped by for a chat. Proline property's off limits, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, just I'll make sure everybody understands. No, I haven't seen anyone. No one's talked to us. Actually, they've just been kind of smiling and waving. So if somebody's over there and we find out, then somebody's got to go to jail. I didn't get it. Was using the bathroom against the law? Sometimes it seemed that way. We did great, I think. <laughs> We'd done our best, but Proline seemed determined to keep its employees waiting. Besides, there were other women out there who needed relief. Diesel engine gunning and five porta sands as freight. Salvation to each woman who can't heed nature's call. Here come the Johns of Justice, relieving one and all. There are four million women in New York City, and sometimes it seems like every one of them is waiting in line for the bathroom. Even paying 50 bucks for a seat at a Broadway play doesn't guarantee you a toilet seat at intermission. What if I was to tell you that there's a truck that has bathroom facilities for women? What would you say about that? Where are they? Spacious, okay. clean. This doesn't look like those other things that I've seen that are like toilets from hell. The Johns of Justice are uplifting women on 45th Street. We're liberating you from long lines for the restroom. 
Are you enjoying the theater this afternoon? Yes, but I couldn't get to the bathroom. It was all the way, like three floors down. Down a whole flight. So I'm walking around going, where is there a bathroom? And you guys showed up. TV Nation is bringing toilet facilities for women. The best idea. I love it. But you have to get out of my way so I can get into the bathroom. The Johns were a smash hit on Broadway, with some people. Uh, I think there are enough bathrooms for women. I just think they take longer, so. But you know what they think. They think they go there and talk and put on makeup and hang out. Hey, are you putting makeup on in there? Are you socializing? That's the natural function. At movie theaters on a Saturday night, the wait for the bathroom lasts longer than the Academy Awards. Women and girls, don't be me. Climb aboard and take a leak on the Johns of Justice. I think that this should be extended to all the boroughs, for instance, Queens. Would you like a toilet? Yeah. Waiting in line gets me madder and madder, and it's not because I've got a pea-sized bladder. We've done well in New York, but there are 130 million women in the U.S., and TV Nation can only do so much. Someday, more bathrooms will get built and women won't have to cheer for a truckload of portable toilets. But as long as women are waiting, and waiting, and waiting, the Johns of Justice will keep on rolling. Yippee -ki -yay.